of a clue there. You've been talking to Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett. I have indeed. The Brussels for a one-off gig. Their second collaboration. Now, the first one was 2011. A Lady and the Tramp, of course, came up with the idea to have a whole collaboration album. It's called Cheek to Cheek. Some classic tracks on here. The chemistry between them was uh, sizzling. You think never the twain shall meet, but they're both Italian-Americans. They've both been weaned on jazz. Mutual Appreciation Society doesn't even cover it. Here you go. So here we are, cheek to cheek, at last. Well, not quite. And now we're definitely cheek now to we cheek. Are. I love the breeze, fresh wind in my hair. Life without care. I'm so broke. It's so. Do you think it was inevitable when you collaborated back in 2011 with the Ladies of Tramp that a collaboration album was on the cards? I said, yes, yes, of course, I can't wait. I mean, I've been waiting for this moment. And I was excited to be rebellious against my pop career. I love that we did it, because the young people that she has have never heard this kind of music. Lady Gaga fans will hear the great music that will never become old-fashioned. I'm very humbled singing these songs. Cole Porter, when I sing those lyrics, it is heart-wrenching. It takes over all of me. You know, I was telling everyone when we were getting ready to do these performances, I said, don't you dare try to give me any dance steps because I gotta sing with my whole body. I'm not a great romancer. I know you're bound to answer when, when we propose. Anything goes. Go. 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 I'm seeing the trumpet on the arm there. Tony did it. She said, sketch a trumpet. So I looked up Miles Davis's trumpet and I sketched it. I wanted to remember this moment forever. I have a tattoo for every album I've put out, but I wanted this one to be the biggest one because for me, this is the biggest moment in my life. Is there a sense that you're overwhelmed at the moment with how happy you are? Yes, I'm very overwhelmed. I have mornings where I'm not quite sure what to do with my nerves. I think it's also because people are hearing really my true voice for the first time, so I feel very vulnerable. Oh, I can't give you the affection that you have for each other. I'm really grateful to him for well, personal things. What I, what I see is that the audience adores her. And it's not just the young little fans, you know, it's everybody. I think I sing better on stage with Tony even than I do in the studio. Oh, no, that's not true. You're, you're a very good singer. <laughs> so just we, let me have one. <laughs> let me just have one. <laughs> There you are, neighbours in New York as well, and partners in uh, crime on that. Would you get a tattoo crime of something that rem me reminds you of you? Like, she got a trumpet. Well, what would you also do? Like, we could get some West Ham hammers. Yes, that is not going to happen, okay. funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl Cole, look, she was 